Just 10 months after the US legalised same-sex marriage, the fight for equality continues. There would be actually a backlash against our state um, and actually against our faith because it, this does go actually against the teachings of Christianity. The governor of the U.S. state of Mississippi signing a law allowing churches, religious charities and privately held businesses to decline services to people whose lifestyles violate their religious beliefs. You're discriminating. Unions say that means they could be refused marriage licenses, denied housing and turned away from needed care based on who they are. Individual government employees may also opt out, although the measure says governments must still provide services. I'm going to have to have a hysterectomy, so I may not be able to have kids. So I want to adopt, and I want to adopt with my girlfriend. So, you know, it kind of just touches all the personal spots it shouldn't. This law even defines a method in which if a clerk says, because of my religious ill beliefs, I can't issue this license, they must find a system that will be able to issue that license to a same-sex marriage without delay or without interference. North Carolina recently barred transgender people from choosing bathrooms consistent with their gender identity. Big businesses such as PayPal pushing back, cancelling plans to open a global operations centre in the state. You know, I went to high school here at Ragsdale where the locker room where we went, we used uh, right down the hall here and downstairs was separated for boys and girls. And that's for, frankly a uh, policy and a standard that I think should remain. The American Civil Liberties Union involved in a federal lawsuit challenging the North Carolina law says it's considering its next steps in Mississippi. Kirsty Johansson, BBC News.